USF's Patel School of Global Sustainability launched the first ever Patel Grand Challenge, where participants from developing nations join together towards a common goal. One of the ideas we came up with, and with discussions with Dr. Patel we thought was a good idea, was to really have a grand challenge where we encourage the best minds from around the world to, to look at some really important and, and desperate problems and then ask them to come up with a way of trying to solve that problem. And that would create a lot of excitement about trying to tackle some of these very important uh, problems that exist, particularly in the developing world. What may be unimaginable to us, but sometimes people have to walk half a mile or a mile to a water source and just bring something because there is no ability to bring it to a large concentrated group. So our solution is of the type where isolated people with not enough financial resources can take a simple solution of a container that they would have gone there, picked up the water and brought in. So while they are doing that function, they are also taking care of the problem. I think the technology that, that will come out as a result of the smart pot innovation, I think that it will be low cost, robust and rugged technology and I think it will be scalable. And I think that's the key. When it's scalable, it means that you can scale it up to sort of community water supply systems, to maybe water systems for small towns. And I do think there will be a spin-off in terms of the technology that's developed, looking at how we might be able to reuse the wastewater that people are generating and, and convert that wastewater back into potable water use. I mean, uh, certainly that's the future, because water is going to become more and more scarce. Dr. Patel and Dr. Vera Vimuthi announced the Grand Challenge during the International Water Association's Development Congress and Exhibition Conference in Malaysia, where the water crisis affects lives daily. I think the impact of a solution of this type is beyond uh, many people's imagination, because if you think about some of the statistics of the developing world, then 20 to 25 percent of the people may not reach age five. And what life that we take for granted is not the reality in a large percentage of population. 